In today's video, I want to transform this picture. <laughs> I've had it for a while, I really like it, but I want to do something else with it. And um, if you saw my last video, I was doing quite a lot of things with texture. And I want to put a bit of texture on this, but add some more colour. These were a couple of the ones that I did. You can see just behind me, those were a couple that I did. Uh, very modern, they were for a commission. But I want to do something now for myself and to share with you the process of doing some texture on this and changing it completely. So, welcome to my channel, I'm Joy Fay. If you're here for the first time, fantastic. If you're one of my subscribers, welcome back and thank you so much and thank you for so many comments that I get. It's wonderful. And, you know, if you love this video and you want to see more tutorials, then you know what to do. <laughs> uh, like the video, subscribe and press the notification button. Um, I'm really gathering momentum. My next goal is to have 5,000 subscribers. I'm nearly there. So hopefully you'll help me. And then the next one is 10,000. But let's get to 5,000 first. So without further ado, I'm going to take you through this process of changing this painting. Okay, let's get started. So I've got everything prepared. I've got my colours. I'm using a nice palette. I've got some um, phalo blue, uh, some light phalo blue, and this is um, a lovely uh, cadmium yellow. Um, here I've got some uh, raw sienna, some Titan buff here, which is lovely, and I've also got this primary blue. I'm not sure whether I'll use that, maybe. And then I've got an array of tools. I've got my silicon brushes, um, here I've got two spatulas, a small one and a big one, and I've got some um, brushes. I've also put some of the uh, paints into these little containers so I can uh, do different things with them. So the colours are here and these are the ones that I've used. So, oh, and I've got my uh, spray bottle. I've also got some um, baby wipes which I tend to use because they're great for blending and getting different effects. So I'll show you as we go. So I hope you can see this. What I'm going to do is do some different textures. It's quite a big canvas. Um, in inches, it's 23 by 31. And in centimeters, it's 60 by 80. So I want to do some collage. Now, I'm not really worried about the colour on the collage at the moment. I'm just looking for texture. So I've put, I hope you can see this. I've put some already some pieces of paper down and I'm doing different paper. <clears throat> this paper is, um, this is actually napkin <laughs> and I used it to get rid of some paint and it's a really nice texture. So I've got some napkin. This is um, just packing paper. And again, it's nice texture. And this one is um, just very, really nice tissue paper. <clears throat> so, and I'm going to put a piece down here. But in, in this area, in part of this area, I'm going to use some uh, molding paste. This is actually universal paste, you know, for um, filling holes in the wall. <laughs> um, so I'm going to put some of that here. And then I might add some more collage, um, but I, you know, as I said, I want to make it really different and experiment with these different textures and let's see what happens. So um, I'm going to start by actually um, doing some of the paste because that takes the longest time to dry. I've got, oh my, my tools, I've got um, a spatula, I've got my trowel, I don't think I'll use that, but I've got it around. Um, I've got my spreader here, um, so if I need that. But I want to make this really kind of a different, obviously it's going to be different from that. And then I've got a silicone brush, and so I'm going to have a, like a play around and see how I feel about this texture here. So I'm just going to take some and 
spread it. I don't want it too thick. I want it to dry quite quickly, which it, it will do. Um, I just kind of want to add some really nice, um, you know, undercoat for uh, an interesting uh, texture. So, um, you know, it's such a it's such a nice thing to do something different, experiment. You know, I, I've been painting for such a long time and I do a lot of painting, but you know, occasionally it's really nice to go, okay, I'm going to do something that's, you know, out of the ordinary for me. <laughs> and, you know, I really suggest you do, do something similar. You know, when you've done been painting or maybe you've just started painting, which is different, but if you've been painting for a while, and you think, oh, you know what? I want to change it up a bit. This is a really interesting way <laughs> of um, achieving that. Can you see? I hope you can see what's happening here. It's really nice. I'm really excited to see what's going to happen and how it will how it will turn out. And. Um, you know, it's a lovely experiment to try and see I could really get into texture thing and sculpting you know it's something that I've been contemplating for a while so you might see this channel change I don't know but we'll see I'm going to put some of that over here just in this area again so it'll be a little bit different to the collage so right I think that's it and I'm going to let that dry that's really nice how that's worked okay so that's stage one and whilst that's drying I'm going to stick the collage on I shall put the little bit here that I had and I'm just using some um, some Mod Podge I've added a little bit of water to it just to thin it down slightly and I've got um, a scraper here so I can make sure it's it's um, it's smoothed out and um, got a couple of brushes to put the glue on so <laughs> now I'm going to turn this round Okay, so let's start, uh, let's start up here. <clears throat> so it's, you know, really a, a, a simple thing to do. And, you know, you can draw out your design. I'm always drawing designs in my sketchbook to get ideas. And, you know, it's a fun thing to do then to translate the ideas um, into actually a painting. Right, so let's put this piece here. It's a kind of exciting <laughs> because you just never know what might what might happen. And then let's put this here. Oh, I've got a fly buzzing around me. under here. So this will be painted over but we'll still get this, the texture of it. Let's put a bit more here. Let's make sure it's all fixed down. So I'm just speeding this up slightly because uh, you can see, you know, basically what I'm doing and um, just gluing this um, um, collage down and um, then I'm going to put it up on the easel so you'll be able to see the whole thing. It's just, the canvas is so big, <laughs> can't get it all on the camera, I'm afraid. <laughs> um, but anyway, you're getting the gist of it and um, you can sort of still see the process. Um, 
And, you know, I love transforming paintings. You know, if I've had paintings around for, for a while and, you know, I'm not going to use them for an exhibition or I don't want them up in the house, it's lovely to, um, you know, take them to a, um, a new level uh, and a new stage and see what happens. And uh, it's very, um, you know, I get excited about it because when you're working intuitively, you know, things just occur in your mind and you go, oh, yeah, I can do that and I can do that. So I've been thinking about this painting for a little while and really it wasn't till recently I thought, you know what, now I've sort of started on this texture <laughs> um, adventure and journey, um, I could do something different with it. So this is nearly all um, stuck down now. I, I really like how the uh, napkin is. I'm going to see if I do some more of those for some other things. It's got a really lovely texture to it and you'll see that when it's um, up on the easel uh, more clearly than you can here. Um, so yeah, nearly, nearly getting there. So just looking at it, now it's up on the easel. I've decided I'm going to actually start with a sponge. So I'm going to sponge some in and we will just go with the flow, see what happens. <laughs> So, you know, starting anything like this, it's again, um, building up the layers <laughs> and um, there are quite a few layers that are going to happen on this painting. Um, and I've obviously speeded it up because, um, you know, it took me a couple of days. <laughs> so I'm adding some nice neutral colors and then some yellow. I've got that lovely um, buff, uh, t um, titanium buff color and um, mixing a little bit of the raw sienna with it and then the yellow I've mixed with it as well. So I'm mixing all the colors really together um, to bring some uh, harmony into the painting which is important when you're, you know, you're doing any piece that you want the, the colors to um, harmonize together so you get a really nice continuity in the picture. So I'm introducing um, some blue. I'm still using the sponge because it, you know, covers so quickly and <laughs> you can get some um, really nice effects with it. And I don't want each layer to be too thick. I want some of it to be quite translucent and um, to be able to see the layers underneath. And if you're putting on very thick paint, that's quite uh, tricky. So I've, I've moved forward a little bit because, you know, it obviously takes time for each layer. And um, using some um, a spray bottle just to uh, spread the paint again a little bit more thinly. And so you can sort of, you know, you don't want it to be too thick if you're going for some transparency. And here's a bit of a close-up. You can see a bit of the texture there. And it's very different. The textures from the napkin to the paper to the molding paste, um, really very distinctive differences in the texture, which is what I wanted. <laughs> so I'm very pleased about that. <clears throat> so it's slowly now um, building up and um, now really kind of going to go in with a little bit more idea of contrast and the composition of it. I've got an idea of how it's going to go, but, you know, it always changes en route. <laughs> but I always like that. It's, um, it's great fun. And, you know, talking of composition and colour, if you're interested in learning more about um, abstract painting, I have a great free mini course which goes through some of those things. And then I also have um, many different uh, online courses all to do with, um, you know, with abstract painting. And they're all um, in the description below. Uh, but the free mini course is, is a great starter course to build your confidence and, you know, find out a little bit more about your color and your composition and how to start a painting and, you know, build your confidence, really, uh, which is, you know, helpful <laughs> when we're painting. Um, <clears throat> I do have a course also, a little bit, one on texture, but I'm going to develop that more because there are so many more things now that we can do with texture. 
and I want to explore it more myself. So here you see I'm adding a little bit of, um, I've, I've actually added a little bit of orange to the palette because the raw sienna wasn't strong enough for me. And I love that orange because it gives you a focal point. And again, that comes together with your composition. Where are you putting your focal points to help your eye go around the painting? And if you can be, you know, objective about your own work, you need to stand back and just pretend you're looking at it for the first time and see where your eye goes and what you're picking up on the painting. So you want lots of variation of textures and of color values, of tone values. So your lights and your darks and um, your, your color changes and to see, you know, where your eye is moving. You, I mean, rule of thumb, <laughs> it's not necessarily 100%, but rule of thumb is not to put your focal point right in the middle of a painting. The reason for that is because um, if you go straight to the middle, your eye doesn't go on a journey around the picture. So the point of having a focal point is for you to go around the painting, to stay in the painting, uh, which makes it interesting. And how you can do that on your focal points, as you'll see as I go with this, you want to highlight those areas, either with a darker color or a change of color. You'll see here that I've got going to put in some um, really deep yellow. I'm going to mix the yellow with some of the orange. And you can see also with the darker color, this is very dark, um, the dark phthalo blue mixed with a little bit of black. Um, those catch your eye. You go there, <laughs> you can't help it. <laughs> so they're interest points. And then you want those interest points to take you round a painting um, to keep the viewer's interest. So you can see now, um, you know, the textures and um, the really the difference between the paper and the napkin. You can see that really clearly on here. And then how different it is with the paste um, there on the texture. And so it's become, you know, really interesting. And I'm pleased with how it's turned out. And um you know, exploring those different kinds of textures can make a painting really sort of stand out and get some very different kind of um, effects. And you see how it's kind of some of the paint's gone into the crack, some of it stayed on the surface. You can see that texture on the uh, paste area, a little bit on the side where I put some other collage and you know the different layers so you're still seeing some of the color that was on the original painting and then here is a focal point with that dark sort of um, yellow orange um, and so you can see how this can come together with um, using this kind of uh, texture so here's the finished painting <laughs> i did a little bit more to it i drew some little things on it some circles and just for added interest and um, so you can see how it's uh, it's turned out so I hope you've enjoyed this video uh, do give me the thumbs up if you did and press the subscribe button and all the information that I gave you is in the description here's the painting actually on my wall at home so thanks for watching and I look forward to seeing you soon bye for now <laughs>